first thing we're going to do is open up a new space from quatio.texthelp.com. Then I'm going to select the freehand drawing tool and just write a very common math expression for equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. To change the color, I'm going to go up to the border color fill site, and I'm actually going to click on a color and then hit X and then start writing. And as you can see, it's in red. Now I'm going to change again, pick a different color, change it to blue this time. So I'm writing another equation. Then I want to actually create a table of values. So I'm going to the shapes tool and clicking more shapes. And as I scroll down, I'm actually looking for a T chart. And there it is. So I'm going to insert that. And as you can see, it's blue. So whatever color I last selected, that's the color that is that it's being inserted as. So I'm going to go to the freehand drawing. I'm going to label X and Y. And I'm going to pick some easy numbers, 0, 3, and 6. And I'm going to substitute it into the blue equation to make it so that it matches um, a little bit. And you can, you'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. So then I went to the select tool. I'm selecting all of the parts of the table. And you can see they're highlighted around. And I'm grouping them. And the reason why I want to do that is I want to resize them. Whenever I'm resizing, I'm holding the shift as well. And we'll go through that again in a second. So I'm changing the color once again before I select the T-chart. Um, if you want the exact same color, you can change it based on the code as opposed to eyeballing it. It's not coming up when I type it in here. And I think it's because it's a capital T, so it didn't actually recognize it. I'm going to put it next to it. Then I'm going to again label X and Y. I'm going to use the same values for X and Y and populate them. I had to think about the math there for a second. So we got 13 and 22. So now I'm going to highlight once again using the select tool. And a menu should automatically show up. If it doesn't, you can hit the arrow or you can press the letter G. Now I'm going to actually go to Desmos and insert a graph for each of these equations that were provided for the line. So I have one in red, one in blue, and it defaulted to red and blue. I could change those if I needed to. I'm going to resize the graph so I can see where the point of intersection is, and it turns out that it's the y-intercept. I want to actually label that point, so I'm going to insert the actual coordinate of the point. You can change the color by holding down on the value and then select label and it will show up on the actual graph. I'm just dragging it over. I'm holding shift and resizing while it's selected. I didn't like that so I'm going to undo. Select, hold shift and move it. And then now everything fits nicely on my screen. 